Call it now. Reclaim the lost sword. Let it illuminate the hero's journey. The one who shadows the eternal night. Behold the legend, Merlin. Magister Merlin? Magister Merlin! Are you alright? Magister Merlin, you don't look well. Did you have a nightmare? Ah, your old problem has reared its head again. I'm Dolly. We've been living together in the mystical house for a while now. I hope you remember that you're the great mage who has inherited the title of Merlin. However, you lost most of your powers somehow. Your memories are fragmented, and you often forget things. I woke you up because there's a fire on the other side of the river. It's getting serious. All the villagers will be in danger if we don't put out that fire. Chippy was worried and ran over there already. As you're familiar, Chippy wanted to protect your beloved village, so he rushed out to put out the fire. But the fire is getting out of hand. Will Chippy be all right? Do you want to go and see for yourself, Magister Merlin? I understand. Just take care of yourself. You've been in seclusion all these years. No one knows you're here. If you just go out like this, it might stir up some trouble. You know, you're probably the most famous mage in Asperia. Before going out, why don't you use some magic and change your appearance? General Hogan! The water isn't working! You Sam! Get these fires under control! Do not retreat! Forward! 
I wouldn't have recognized you if it weren't for Chippy tagging along. How about you dispel your disguise so I can see my old friend again? Ah, oh, General, the Magister's condition, you see? He's forgotten you again. It's okay, Chippy. No matter how many times he forgets, I'm happy to reintroduce myself to him. I am Hogan, the former leader of the Heroic Order of the Lightbearer Empire, and the current Magistrate of Hollistone. We've been friends for decades, and our friendship will never fade, no matter how muddled your memory gets. But this is no time for small talk. Look at these fire elementals. They don't belong in Ryham. How could they just appear out of nowhere? Then our most pressing concern is to put out the fire. Please, give me a hand. Let's put these fires out together. General, they've ruined my beauty sleep. This will cost you extra. Valen, you're just getting here now? Were you deep in your cups again? That's not fair. I ran into a bunch of fire elementals on the way here. 
Those guys were really annoying. Anyway, looks pretty grim here. I didn't expect the fire to be this big. This is not normal, General. That's right. We think it's arson. The culprit is likely a mage. Whoa, a talking hamster? You're a familiar, aren't you? In that case, this gentleman with the general must be a mage. I gotta say, picking a hamster as your familiar is rather... unique. I'd normally overlook your banter, Veyron. But in front of this magister, you'd better watch your words. It's rare to command such respect from the general. Well, magister, I am Valen of the Heroic Order. How would you like me to address you? Hmm, an interesting name. I will remember it. Forgive my rudeness earlier. I'll be sure to make it up to you once this fire has been dealt with. more interested in who started the fire than in putting it out. I saw you casting a spell with my own eyes! It's not that easy to quench a greedy fire, my dear. I'm just trying to help. The Scarlet Sorceress is as beautiful as her fire is dangerous. That's what the rumors say. Dangerous? You're quite right. If this were my fire, you'd all be ashes by now. <laughs> So she's the Scarlet Sorceress. Chippy has heard of her. You're... Hmm? Magister, if Chippy is not mistaken, it seems like the Scarlet Sorceress is staring at you. What do we do, Magister? She's staring really hard. Never mind. You made me think of someone. The divination was right. This night was awful. I shouldn't have gone out. I'd appreciate not being disturbed any further. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere, Scarlet Sorceress. All my wares are gone. I demand compensation. Don't push your luck, young man. I'm not known for my patience. Don't you dare try to get away with this. I'll make sure you're held responsible. Shh. Quiet. Something's not right. The wind. 
that's suddenly so loud? You awake? How are you feeling? If I hadn't seen you pass out just now, I'd probably believe you. You passed out for a while. General Hogan and his men put out the fire. Then he returned to Hollistone. He ordered me to stay here and look after you. Before he left, the General told me to make sure that when you woke up, your memory was all right. What a strange request. Do you often forget things? Also, how much do you remember of what just happened? He's no ordinary child. He's Rowan, the second son of the wealthiest man in the Empire, and head of the Mithril Consortium. Young Master Rowan identified the Scarlet Sorceress as the culprit, and the two of them were brought back to Hollistone by General Hogan for questioning. Her name is Muriel. People are just used to calling her the Scarlet Sorceress. Muriel's attitude towards you was unusual. When you passed out, she was the first to get to you. Did you know her from before? That's rather odd. Magister? Yes, you're awake! Chippy checked all around and didn't see any elemental beings. The village is safe now! Mr. Valen told you that General Hogan already left for Hollistone, right? The General will wait for us in the village, so we should go meet him in Hollistone. He seemed to have something to say to you. There might be enemies on the road. I'll go with you. Although, you might not need my protection. Of course! The Magister is the Mur. <coughs> mage that everyone loves. Anyway, since you're feeling better, Magister, should we set off? However, before leaving for Hollistone, we should probably return to the mystical house first. Dolly must be worried sick. Need a hand, friend? You're back. I was worried.
Magister fainted after casting that spell. And the Magister looked really strange, as if possessed by some weird force. Nonsense. Even the goddess Dura can't control Merlin. Perhaps it's just the Magister recovering. Chippy, what's with you? Why so pessimistic? That's not like you. Ah, oh, you are right. The Magister is the greatest mage in all of Asperia. Everything will be fine. That's what I like to hear. Magister Merlin, you seem to be in quite a bit of trouble. Shall we find someone to lend you a helping hand? Leave it to me. I know a few people. I greet you with claws from the shadow. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. A little progress is better than no progress, right? If I could just put on the wings. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> Whew. The color and clarity are phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> Who's there? Huh. It's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. By my life and honor, I shall protect you.
the color and clarity are phenomenal. Oh, <laughs> hello. Looks like you just put on the ring. The general has... Who's there? Huh. It's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? You desire an audience. And what do you offer? Took you a while. I've been waiting out here in the cold all day. They say it's always autumn in Ryham, but right now, it's more like winter. It's said that Merlin's ward has long protected Ryham. It's the only reason that people can actually live here. But recently, Ryham's been getting colder. It's almost snowed the past few days. We've come with the Magistar to investigate this change in weather. My apologies, Miss Hamster. I never got your name. Yes, we should be introduced. You are Valen. I am Hammy. Are all your familiars hamsters? Nope. Chippy told me that General Hogan ordered you to protect the Magister. You must know that serving the Magister is an honor, but it's not easy. I'll be observing you. I hope you'll become a competent retainer. Apologies again, but I have to correct you. I'm a knight, not someone's retainer. Protecting him is just my current task. It's not a lifelong post. Unless your magister is someone like the Great Merlin, then I may consider it. Did I hear that right? Well, the magister, he is Mer- Ouch! Why did you just step on my foot, Hammy? Oh, sorry. Chippy likes to spout nonsense. Don't mind him, Mr. Valen. Once you spend some time together, you'll realize that although the Magister isn't Merlin, he is just as powerful. You'll see that he is practically the same as Merlin, except for the different appearance and name. Okay, I'll just wait and see. We should get going. I really want to get to Hollistone as soon as possible. I need a hot drink to help me warm up. Dura above. I really hope the General doesn't give me another assignment.
I'm ready for my grand entrance. You're not even worth getting up for. All set? Who's my next prey? Anyone need Hammy to do some magic? At your service. Well, victory is deserved. Desire an audience, and what do you offer? Time to show you my moves. Well, victory is deserved. Time to show you my moves! Just as I expected.
Well, victory is deserved. Time to show you my moves! Divine Shield protects me! Just as I expected. Well, victory is deserved. You desire an audience, and what do you offer? Oh, the color and clarity are phenomenal. The general has asked me to protect him. Nothing. A little progress is better than no progress, right? Shield for the light bay. Who's there? Huh. Be ever sharper, my weapon and myself.
Lucius, at your yes, as you command. Who's my next prey? Yona. All set. I'm ready for my grand entrance. It's time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. Great. You seem to have pulled yourself together. I was really worried when you passed out. So, how are you getting along with Vayner? I hope he hasn't offended you already. <sighs> I guess it didn't go so well. Valen, I told you to heed his orders as if they were my own. That's not fair, General. These two little hamsters were watching my every move. I didn't slack off at all. Well, considering you helped us fight all the way here, I'll score your performance on the Magister's behalf. 80 out of 100! Keep up the good work, Mr. Valen! Yes, of course. Thanks for your encouragement, Hammy. Let me say this again, Valen. He was sent by me specifically to look into the changing weather. To ensure success, you must spare no effort in assisting him. Furthermore... You must ensure his safety. I totally understand, General. Ah, <sighs> Valen is my most trusted knight, both in strength and in character. His only shortcoming is probably his big mouth. Anyway, please teach this young man a thing or two during your time together. You can be as strict as you need to be. Stop teasing me, General. We should get down to business. The fire at Ryham was clearly arson. Yes, the young master of the Mithril Consortium identified the culprit as the Scarlet Sorceress. 
Rowan believes that she was the one who summoned those fire elementals. The Scarlet Sorceress, however, denies it all. I questioned the Scarlet Sorceress before you arrived. I asked her what her reasons were for coming to Ryham, but she didn't say a word. What about you? Do you think the Scarlet Sorceress is the culprit? Not that I doubt your judgment, but until the truth is uncovered, I can't let her go. There's another matter I'm concerned about. The Scarlet Sorceress said that you'd exonerate her. She seemed convinced that you would find the real culprit of the fire. You and her. I don't mean to pry, but is she an acquaintance of yours? True, you have lost your memory. Some things you might not be able to recall. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of all of this in our investigation. Oh, right. Uh, this is your first time in Hollistone, isn't it? Before troubling yourself with the investigation, you might as well take a tour around the village. I suspect you'll like it here. <laughs> Go, have a look around, then come find me. I'll be waiting for you here. the target. May flowers blossom across this land. <laughs> What's wrong with a good sleep attack? As long as I'm safe. I'm here. Who's the target? <laughs> What's wrong with a good sleep attack?
shield for others, armor for my for the life bearers. The stars sparkle ever more brilliantly. Oh! Wow, a promotion! Without the salary increase! Thanks so much! Both techniques and tact optimal training results.
Inventory, shipments, deliveries. Am I missing anything? Oh yes, gifts for my customers. Thank you for considering my lady. However, she said that if she needed anything, she would instruct us on what to do rather than trouble you. But well, she does not need to be so polite. The lady has come a long way, and it is my duty to be hospitable to guests. Should she have time today, might I be fortunate enough to meet her? I have prepared a rare gift for her. Lord Franz, sir, I'm afraid my lady is terribly busy today and cannot see you. Please return another day. Lord Franz does not seem to be in a great mood today, I see. I heard General Hogan mention that a noblewoman lives in this house and that she has come from the capital. And where did this bottom feeder come from? Talking about me behind my back. Be gone! <laughs> And nice to meet you, Lord France. You're different from what I imagined. I heard you were so rich and swanky that even the fountain on your estate was made of gold. I imagined you'd look like a fine gold bar. Impertinent scoundrel! No wonder your mouth emits such dross when base wretches like you grow up eating only filth. <laughs> fine, fine. I might well be a base wretch, but that can't be said of him. What do you think, Magister? Oh no. You look like you're barely half-trained. Don't call yourself a Magister when you only know a few spells. <laughs> I wager you never attended the Serene Lyceum. Am I right? Magister didn't really study that much there. See? I thought as much. Peasants like you don't belong in a place like that. You've misunderstood, Lord Cocky Highbutt. The Magister didn't study at the Lyceum because he was teaching there. Yes! You journaled about that part of your life, and you allowed me to read those entries. What a bunch of tedious liars! Enough! I have an important client to meet and can spare no time to argue with the likes of you. Furthermore, I hate rodents! Particularly when they scurry around my property. You best not let me catch you around Ryham. 
That region falls under my jurisdiction. He certainly wasn't humble. He's essentially saying that Ryham belongs to him. However, it doesn't look like he was exaggerating. Lord Franz does control most of Ryham, especially the southern part. You look a bit lost. Allow me to explain. Ryham is built along the Tranquil River, which divides the region in half, north and south. Two years ago, Southville heated Lord France and dug up its wheat fields to plant grapes instead. They made a lot of money, and nowadays many villagers regard him as the symbol and source of their wealth. They say it's a new grape variety, Gemvine. In all of Asperia, it only grows in Ryham and is so rare that it can't be bought anywhere else on the market. To expand production, Lord Franz has lobbied the Northville villagers to swap from growing wheat to gem vine grapes. Is this a mage's intuition then? Southville is not that far, so we could go have a look around. But we should probably talk with General Hogan before we go. He's waiting for us near the plaza. heard the wheat fields in Northville will soon be acquired by Lord Franz. It won't be long before Northville is growing those expensive grapes, just like Southville. What? Wasn't the village chief of Ryham opposed to growing grapes? Did he back down in the end? He had no choice. You've seen how rich the people in Southville have gotten these past couple years. It's all because of the grapes. Everyone in Northville was green with envy. Who doesn't want to be rich? The old chief couldn't hold back the sea of change. Dura above. If there are grapes to the south and grapes to the north, Ryham should just change his name to Grapeville. Mary, I'm so glad you're safe. I heard about the fire last night. I was so worried. Eddie, I saw everything. When the fire broke out, there was a mage in the village. She was standing in my wheat field. She waved her hand and just vanished, after which the field just burst into flames. What? Are you saying you saw the culprit? Mary, take a deep breath and see if you can remember what she looked like. She had red hair down to her mid-back. She was also wearing a hat with a long feather in it and a black dress with gold stripes. We need to tell this to the heroic order. Magister, listening to that description, it seems like the culprit has to be Muriel. She has red hair and wears a hat and a dress. Do you remember what the Scarlet Sorceress looks like? I think she was different from the woman's description. That's right! Muriel has even longer hair. It's like a red carpet. This is an important piece of information. Before the fire, mages other than Muriel may have been in the village. We need to tell this to General Hogan immediately. You look serious. Uh, what happened? Well, 
Ryham should never have been divided. Now the citizens on both sides of the river are constantly bickering. I have to point out that this situation started after Lord Franz arrived in Ryham. In short, the intel suggests that the culprit is probably someone other than the Scarlet Sorceress. But she's still a suspect. And who knows if the other red-headed mage is her accomplice. We'll have to keep investigating. Huh. We haven't even solved the issue of the changing weather. But here comes more problems. This case is related to magic, which Valen does not excel at. I'm going to ask you for your help. Are you willing to aid us? I'll let her know that you said that. Thanks for your help. Have you figured out what your next move is? We ought to look around Southville. Before identifying the culprit, we should learn more about the grape variety known as Gemvine. We bumped into Lord Franz just now, and he wasn't particularly friendly. What if, hypothetically, my sword falls out of its scabbard, completely by accident, mind you, and skewers his foot? You'd protect me, right? Please keep an eye on him. I'm afraid he's going to get into trouble. Then it's all up to you. May Jura above watch over you. Time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. It's 
time to show you my moves. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! My shield is unbreakable! You desire an audience. Being a noble is always being on top. Ooh, even shinier! Shield for others, armor for myself. Let's get started for the light bay. The general has asked me to protect. A little progress is better than no progress, right? Who's there? Be ever sharper. My weapon and myself. Inventory, shipments, deliveries. Am I missing anything? Oh yes, gifts for my customers. Time to show you my moves! You're it. Just as I expected. Time to show you my moves! Time to show you my moves! My shield is unbreakable! Thank you. 